Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Hey sports fans, how's it going? Christian Pedersen here in the San Diego Prep Insider Studios. Thank you very much for checking in with us. And as always, we have some great games to bring you. So what do you say we fire up that old highlight machine and see what it has in store for us? Our first stop of the day, softball. OLP traveling to take on Kearney in the land of the Comets. Gonna get this one started in the first with one of our favorite things. Oh, strikeout! Giselle Thirical getting the K looking. Then in the second, though, it was time for OLP's offense to get it going. Lifting balls to the outfield, making good things happen, bringing in the first run of the game. It was a busy second inning on both sides. They were cool not just getting the Ks, but fielding her own position. Nice snare on the comebacker. Almost gets the double play out of it. But back to the OLP offense, making things busy. Jamie Nianesh. Hope I'm saying that right, because she's bringing in runs, deserves some love. Legging it out to second with the extra hustle in the back end of the play. Then over to the OLP pitching, Kelsey Way throwing chairs. Straight varsity level heat right there. Back to the OLP offense. Sneaking balls through the infield, looking like the Padres bringing in all sorts of runs there. But OLP was not done, the third inning would be a big one. Jessica carry on, boom! Blast that one past all of civilization into the nether world of left field. And that's gonna bring in one, two, three. That's gonna get the wave, could it be? Yes, sir, it is. A big old grand slice of salami. OLP goes on to win it big by a final score of 18 to one. Over now to volleyball. I'm gonna stay in the land of the Comets. Morse playing host to Kearney, the league action. Last time this one went to five dramatic games. This time, it's gonna be Ryan Jackman. And Morse bringing the power all day long. Let's meet Sam saying to application rejected. Woo. It's like me getting turned down to prom right there. Dominant. Kearney though, not to be outdone entirely in their home gym, providing a little bit of a fight. But John Javier, he knows you can use the gentle touch sometimes, having people think that was gonna be a set, but it's a score. More from Say and Souk. We go to the second game. Kearney, as I said, had their moments in their home gym. Jorge Rosado, that was one of them. But Morris came to win this one. Anthony Elevato, it's an ace. And that is where we leave you. Morris taking it three games to one. Our last stop, we're gonna head over to Mission Bay for some lacrosse. Helix taking on the Buccaneers. Pick this one up in the second half with Helix already up a pair, looking to add on, getting some breathing room there and some style points on the landing. And we're done scoring though, coming out of the gate hot in the second. Helix extends the lead all the way up to 6-1 and then the Buccaneer offense finally found its rhythm. Shelby Moore, that was one. Then Kylie Kroger just went straight up beast mode. One goal, Kylie Kroger, two goals. That was a bounce shot, nice movement there. Another one from Kroger, off the penalty, fired it right by. The nice low bounce shots, they just look good. They're down to, it's a one point lead. It's a tied game, Mission Bay has fought all the way back. Mission Bay looking now to extend it, oh! That's when Joe Collin decides to step up and make some clutch plays. Good defense sets up good offense. Helix getting the point there, going up, but we're not done. Last 20 seconds of the game. Mission Bay with a chance to tie. Joe Collins with a chance to be the hero, and she is. Helix seals the deal in about as nail biter of a win as possible. Let's hear from the goalkeeper after the game. Um, but I just know that I'm shaking because like the adrenaline and the girls played really well and it was a lot of fun. It was It's a fun sport and actually when it's like that close of a tie together, I feel like it brings out the best of us and that's what happened. So